One thing most content creators cannot get enough of is gear, but we don't have unlimited budgets, so it's best for us to take advantage of deals when we can find one. Well, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, the holidays, and my birthday are right around the corner. So today we're finding audio, video, and lighting products that you should consider purchasing depending on what phase of your content creation journey you're in. Maybe you're in the budget phase, you're just starting out, or maybe you're in the business phase where content creation is becoming more and more serious for you. Or maybe you're in the baller phase where you need the top of the line gear for your successful content creation career. Regardless of where you're at, Let's do some shopping. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year! Let's start with audio because this is where creators should start. When someone watches your video on YouTube, they won't click away from grainy video as long as the audio is clear and the content is worthwhile. But if your audio isn't crispy, you will lose viewers. So start with audio, trust me. Our budget selection for audio is the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. This is the perfect mic to strap to your camera or your mobile device, and it has some hidden features that make creating content easier. The Deity V-Mic D4 Duo is actually two mics. One faces away from you and one faces towards you. This means that it's capturing 360 degrees of audio, which is perfect for vlogging or many of the other applications that people start doing when they get into content creation. The mic also has an input if you need to actually input a lav mic or any other audio device into the microphone. It's a great mic for budget creators. Now, if you find that your channel is growing and it's time for you to take your audio to that next level, I could not suggest the Rode Video Mic go to enough. This mic is always on top of my camera, except for right now when I'm holding it. Not only does it capture great audio into the camera, but it also serves as a microphone that performs well in any situation because you'll notice it has a USB-C port. This port can be used to interface this microphone with your iPhone, your iPad, or even your computer. This has become my go-to microphone when I'm live streaming or when I need to record a vocal track into a music app like GarageBand or Logic. And the versatility of the Rode Video Mic Go 2 makes it a microphone that I take with me everywhere. Finally, we come to our baller choice. The DJI mic has changed the way I make videos. I'm using it uh, right now, actually. It's not a microphone as much as it is a microphone system. The DJI mic comes in a case that charges its receiver as well as its two transmitters. That's right, the DJI mic comes with two transmitters. That's two microphones that work right out of the box. You can use them on their own or you can plug any mic into these transmitters. They send audio to the receiver which plugs into any camera, mobile device, or even an audio system. Additionally, the transmitters record directly to themselves. You can use this audio for your main project or as a backup in case something happens to the audio you're sending to your receiver. The possibilities with the DJI mic are endless, and it's one of my favorite pieces of gear. Let me know down in the comments which mic interests you the most. And while you're there, click the link to watch the review videos of both the DJI mic and the Rode Wireless Go 2 that I made. And, you know, maybe uh, click subscribe. Now that we have our audio sounding crispy, let's get into video. I have a huge secret for anyone who finds themselves in the budget category of our shopping list. There is one choice you need to make when purchasing video gear on a budget. You should buy nothing. That's right, nothing. Nothing! The phone that sits in your pocket right now probably shoots in 4K, and at the very least, it shoots in 1080p. Instead of saving up for that new camera, learn how to shoot well with your iPhone. This will save you tons of time and money. And then you can use that money to purchase great audio or lighting gear. Okay, I'm not just gonna leave you with nothing. One of the best cost-effective tools you can buy this season is some sort of continuous power supply for your camera or a portable battery for your iPhone. 
Nothing is more frustrating than wasting your time waiting for power to be restored to your most essential part of your video making process. So buying a continuous power supply for your camera or buying a battery bank for your iPhone, if you're shooting with that, makes the most sense. A step up from your iPhone would be the Canon M50. Shooting with the Canon M50 is a great choice for business level content creators where things are just getting a little bit more serious on your YouTube channel. The Canon M50 sets itself apart from other entry level cameras because of its interchangeable lenses. Interchangeable lenses, they future proof you. The camera body is great and having the ability to change the look of your shot as you grow by changing your lenses, for a creator, that's a must. The lenses on your phone, they simply cannot change. So the Canon M50 is a great choice for your content creation if you find it getting to be a little bit more serious. Moving on, the Sony ZV-E10 has become my ride or die for content creation because it is the baller choice. Now let's be clear, I'm biased because the Sony ZV-E10 lives in my bag daily. We're best friends, but many creators would agree with me because it's compact, it can go anywhere. It also has interchangeable lenses. But finally, it features a USB-C out that allows you to use it as you live stream or as you video conference. There's no additional drivers or hardware needed. You just take a USB-C cable from the camera, plug it into your computer. They're in the computer? Plug it into your computer, your iPhone, your iPad, and it just works. Be on the lookout for the Sony ZV-E10 deals this season because it is an astounding little piece of technology. And don't forget to watch my full review of the Sony ZV-E10 linked below. Finally, we've reached lighting and I'm going to take a moment to be very vulnerable here and share with you that I am not good at lighting. Well, 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 how the turntables. I know. I know, I can, I can feel the shame washing over me, but seriously, lighting has always confused me. That's, that's why I want to buy lights that just work. I don't have time to set up some elaborate system for filming. So you can trust me that these lights I'm about to share with you are extremely easy to work with, and you should be looking for a deal on these this season. The Loom Cube RGB Panel Go is a portable light that can be used everywhere. Put it on your camera to light your subject. Place it behind you to add depth of field in your shot. It doesn't cost much to grab a versatile light like this to make your videos look great. When I began to take YouTube a little bit more seriously, I realized that the ceiling lights in my office just wouldn't cut it. And that's when I grabbed the Dazney D50. Not only is this a great key light that allows me to set the perfect brightness and temperature for my shot, but this light mounts to your desk. So, well, actually it'll mount to anything for that matter, but having it always on my desk makes it so much easier to quickly create content when an idea strikes. Last but not least, the light comes with a remote, which means I don't have to keep getting up to make small adjustments to the light. Anything I need to change can be done from this remote without ever leaving my seat. Finally, whenever you're ready to make that baller level commitment, grab the GVM Bicolor LED video light. This light can be controlled right from your phone using an app. It's from GVM and it gives you such a soft, natural look to the subject that you're shooting. I have not found a better soft key light that I want in my setup. 10 out of 10. But I want to add one more light to our baller setup. It's another GVM and I'm using it actually um, right, right, right behind me. The GVM 800D RGB LED video light creates any color. Now you can use it to light anything, but when you have a great key light on your subject, adding a splash of color or even a lot of color using the GVM 800D RGB LED video light, it just takes it to the next level, creating that really great depth of field. Everything I mentioned in this video is linked below, but don't let your content creation stop there. You're just getting started. Make sure you watch, um, make sure you watch this video. <laughs>